Okay, so before we start this playlist, which looks at kind of the institutional redefinition that's going to happen in the context of Brexit, and you're eventually going to see wh where I see trans rights in this as a tiny little useful mechanism, but before I go into the actual videos, which I'm going to do slowly, I'll try and do in as straightforward a language as I can, I want you to understand that I'm talking about stability. I'm talking about stability in a period of deep instability. And through a lot of these videos, I'm going to sound like I'm talking about certainty, because I am. The duties that I'm concerned with, the institutions that I'm concerned with, that's all pretty much. Now the problem with what you're about to hear is it's going to sound like certainty, and it's not. Because the more certainty that I have about these things, the more uncertainty there is shaping everything else. So for what I'm saying to be true, for us to be at the point in this cycle that I say that we're at, for me to be certain right now, something else has to be true. And what has to be true is that we have to be going through a period of tremendous instability. Now, the systems that I am concerned with are always marginal. They are very, very marginal systems, and they will remain so. They will not become politically prominent after some great revolution where we all reconcile ourselves to wanting to see these systems. The reason we have perspectives like mine that evolve within these systems is because these are things that people don't want to see. And that will always be the case. That's not going to change. These will always be marginal systems. But there is a considerable degree of certainty around these institutions. But I need you to understand that what that means is that I am talking about a period of tremendous uncertainty, tremendous instability, tremendous institutional instability. And what I'm actually talking about is a period of very deep uncertainty where power relations are exposed and where lots of things could happen. And what I'm also talking about is a period where at certain points, crisis metastasize, and metastasize is the only word that I can use to basically, with power dynamics, we keep escalating crisis until they're exposed and they're addressed, and we just keep doing it. But the way that those crises grow is they metastasize. Now, the base text that I think everybody should read to understand this period are economic consequences of the piece and road to serfdom. Now I read those to understand our child protection systems and a marginal, inconsequential little strand of our political economy that nobody is ever going to give a fuck about in the way that I give a fuck about it. And that's kind of all right and that's just the way it's always going to be. But that tiny, tiny marginal little strand, if you're honest with yourself, is not a strand that you think about daily. And you won't, and that's all right because it's marginal. But in order for that to be renegotiated, like literally, we have to be going through institutional breakdown across every institution that meets around that system, right into the roots. So we're talking about instability that's going to like really shape this country. And so what I'm talking about is stability, and what I'm talking about is certainty, and the things that I'm talking about are about stability, and, and therefore they are about certainty. But the rest of it, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in slowly. I'm going to try and explain how I know some stuff because sometimes when your perspective is shaped that the reason the way that mine is, you have to ask yourself whether you know this because you know it, because you know institutions are the core, or whether you. So if I can get you reading that you can look at that will help you. I know loads. I like honestly, I read a lot. I can. So I might just start issuing a reading list with, of really interesting people to have a look at for, to understand this period. But I'm talking about a period of instability and I'm talking about institutional redefinition that could only be occurring if there was a significant reconstruction in people's understanding of power across pretty much every dimension, not just this tiny little... If what I'm talking about is replicated. You know, I'm talking about a period of considerable instability and I'm talking about institutional redefinition that will be occurring in the middle of that and will be driven by crisis as well. So this, a lot of this, I think, is not going to be prayer. 
And during these periods, we have to get, we have to look for things that are about stability because there are shysters like the fucking Corbynites and the elite left offering really dodgy shit. The far right start offering, it, you know, people with easy answers right now. They do very well. And we are at a period in time where crisis can metastasize quite significantly. And, you know, so I want you to understand that. And I want you to understand that I always understand that even when I sound like I'm talking about calm and stability. That I understand that I am talking about a period of deep instability.